Hi, this is Dr. Corey Moss on Looking Your Best. The mid-face area is a region of a lot of intense scrutiny right now as we have a number of injectable fillers that are being used and are really being marketed widely, including Juvederm, Voluma, Radius, and even others that are used to really restore volume. But in many cases, we don't need to restore volume in the mid-face. We need to lift the mid-face when it's sagging and creating a deep fold here along with a fullness that people were naturally born with. So if we can re restore or reposition, uh, move the tissue back up to the area where it used to be without having to use a filler, that's a really good option for a lot of people for mid-face rejuvenation. And when we do that, we call that a mid-face lift. It's a very simple process of really, conceptually at least, and moving the fatty and soft tissues along with the skin from lower in the face to up above the fold here, back up into the cheek, which really should be the high point of our mid-face. The mid-face is the area below the eyelid and above the lip here, and that's really an area of early facial aging in many patients. In a lot of patients, we can do that alone and really restore a very youthful look without using uh, expensive fillers or having to do recurrent treatments with fillers so it's an option I think it's really important to understand about there's a difference again between volume loss and then loss of the volume due to sinking uh, of the tissues in the middle part of the face so if we can make that distinction and that's up to the doctor or surgeon treating you to know if you have enough volume to do a mid-face lift the procedures that have been described for mid-face lifting are often done with a lower face lift or even a mini lift, but it can be done in all by itself too, and have been everywhere from doing it below the skin and periosteum or covering the bone using an endoscope, to incisions behind the eyelid using little wires that are, screw, that are drilled and uh, holes through the uh, bone of the lower lid, to the minimally invasive approach that I like to describe, and that is what we'll be talking about today. It's the percutaneous, or through the skin, mid-face lift, which uses a small device that includes an EPTFE suture that's often used in heart surgery or cardiovascular surgery, and a, a little EPTFE donut anchor, again, used in heart surgery primarily, so it's very biocompatible with the body. And that little suture suspension assembly is used through a tiny little incision in the cheek to elevate and restore contour to the mid-face cheek fat pad that sinks down with age. The, the procedure can be done under local anesthesia in the office. We had a local news channel come in and film me doing this a few years ago, so it can be done under local. It can be done with a little sedation if one wants, but the idea is local anesthesia is used for comfort. A tiny little punch incision is used for the placement of the device and there's a little exit where we, a little tiny exit incision hidden behind the hairline where we actually suspend or anchor that elevated uh, fat pad tissue here that's now sinking down. Recovery after percutaneous mid-face lift is relatively short. There's a little bit of swelling typically in the upper cheek that we see that can last for a week or so. There's typically not very much bruising with it and the incisions are so tiny on the face that really they're invisible when you leave the office. So really there's not a long recovery and that doesn't really have an impact on the duration. What we've seen now with the procedure as we've written about, published, and have now many patients over 10 years is that they get very long durations of effect whether they're doing the mid-face lift as an isolated procedure in the office or in surgery or if they're doing the mid-face lift or you decide to do a mid-face lift uh, along with a lower face lift or a mini face lift. Again, its main goal is to lift this cheek pad up and keep it up so that we look youthful without, peep, without having to add volume for patients who have plenty of soft tissue volume. If you have any other questions about the percutaneous mid-face lift, that is the lifting of the mid-face with tiny little incisions, please don't hesitate to write me at drmoss.com. You can always call the numbers that are listed or send us photographs of yourself and we'd be happy to have a discussion about what the best options are for you. As always, it's my pleasure to answer those questions and be with you. It's Dr. Corey Moss on Looking Your Best.